Welcome to the second edition of Mr. Kung Has Problems. Tonight we're working on Grade 4, Module 2, Lesson 2. And again, we're doing metric unit conversions and solving word problems and other problems using the metric system. Let's take a look at a couple of the problems that you may be working on. Let's take a look at problem 2F first. This problem asks us to take these two numbers, that's 270 kilograms, and 41 grams and express those simply in grams. So the first thing of course is we're going to have to remember what a kilogram is and that is that one kilogram is the same as 1,000 grams. Kilo is 1,000. So if we remember that, that will help us out for sure because we will know that 270 kilograms is the same as 270,000 grams plus 41 grams, excuse my terrible plus sign there, for a total of 270,041 grams, expressed in grams. I wanted to give you one of those demonstrations before we looked at one of the other possible problems. Let's look at 3C. I'll move up so we can focus on that one. 3C, we're going to express the answer in the smaller unit. And again, this is just a conversion problem first and then an addition problem. First, we need to express the first number, that is 27 kilograms, 547 grams. We need to express that in the smaller unit of grams. And again, 27 kilograms is the same as 27,000 grams, so we have 27,547 grams, to which we are going to add simply 694 more grams. And now we have a very straightforward addition problem. 7 plus 4 is 11, the 1 goes here, the, one t the 10 goes up there. We have in the tens column 1 plus 4 plus 9 or 14, so that's 4 tens here and 100 up here. 1 plus 5 plus 6 in the hundreds place is 12, that's 2 here and 1 in the thousands place. 1 plus 7 in the thousands place is 8, and 2 in the ten thousands place, or 28,241 grams expressed in the smaller unit. We could check our problem by doing the inverse operation. We could start with 28,241 grams and subtract away 640, I'm sorry, 694 grams to see if we got 27,547 grams. I believe we would, but you could double check my work. Let's take a look at one of the story problems. We use a read, draw, and write strategy in our class, an RDW strategy. We read first, then we draw, and finally we write our answers, anytime we have a story problem. So let's read. A bag of potatoes and a bag of onions combined weigh 11 kilograms, 15 grams. If the bag of potatoes weighs 7 kilograms, 300 grams, how much does the bag of onions weigh? Well, let's draw. Now that we've read, let's draw. We've got an overall uh, amount that's made up of a bag of onions and a bag of potatoes. And we know that the overall weight of everything, the combined weight, is 11 kilograms and 15 grams. We also know that the bag of potatoes weighs 7 kilograms and 300 grams. And the question remaining is what is that last part, the bag of onions? Um, I'm going to use the, the letter B to represent the bag of onions. We use letters to represent uh, the quantities that we don't know about. We use them as variables. Um, you could use O for onions, but O and zero are awfully close, and so I'm going to use B for bag of onions as a better uh, option here. And so this looks to me like it might be a regular subtraction problem. That is, we have a hole right here, 11 kilograms, 15 grams, and if we simply subtracted one of the parts, 7 grams and 300 grams of potatoes, we would end up with the answer we seek, which is B, the bag of onions. So that's how I'm going to approach this problem, and as I do that, I'm actually going to convert down to the lower, uh, to the smaller quantity. I will look at this 11 kilograms and 15 grams and say that is the same as 11,015 grams. Converting the 11 kilograms into 11,000 grams, and then the 15 grams say the same. And from that, I'm going to subtract 7,300 grams, the, bags, the bag of potatoes. When we do subtraction, we look at each place value to see if we have enough units to do our subtraction. So first we look at the ones. We have five, and we're going to subtract zero, and we can do that. Let's look at the tens. We have one ten, and we need to subtract zero, and we can do that. 
But when we get to the hundreds, we have a problem. We don't have any hundreds, and yet we want to subtract 3, and that's not going to be possible unless we unbundle one of our thousands. So we're going to convert one of our thousands, we're going to unbundle it into hundreds. So 1,000 creates 10 hundreds. We didn't have any before then, so that leaves us with 10. And now we have a new problem, because we have a problem in the thousands place, where we want to subtract 7, but we don't have any to start with. So again, we're going to have to unbundle one of the 10,000s into thousands. That will become, I'm sorry, we unbundle one of our 10,000s becomes none, and we unbundle that into thousands, where it becomes 10,000s, and now we have enough units to subtract. So well, let's go ahead and do that subtraction. 5 minus 0 is 5, 1 minus 0 is 1, 10 minus 3 is 7, 10 minus 7 is 3, and we don't have any 10,000s left. And so we have our answer of 3,715 grams. Again, we could do the inverse process of taking this value and adding it to this value to see if we got that value. And just eyeballing it up, I think that we would. But we are not yet done because we have a right portion of our strategy. And we were asked a very specific question, not just for a number. The question was, how much does the bag of onions weigh? And we have our answer. The bag of onions weighs 3,715 grams. And now we're done with our problem. Thanks so much for watching. This has been Mr. Kung Has Problems.